Hello, I'm Ziz, and this is my setup tutorial video for using Ziz Macro. The first thing we need to download is Auto Hotkey. This will be used for running my Auto Hotkey file. Let's go to AutoHotkey.com to begin. Select the current version, and the download should begin. After the download is complete, open the installation file. Select Express Installation and it will begin. This should only take a few seconds. After the installation is complete, you may close the installation window. The next thing we need to do is download my current version of Ziz Macro. Make sure you download this from my Discord message and not from anyone else. Discord will warn you about downloading any zip files, so go ahead and select download anyway. Your browser may also warn you about downloading files that are not commonly downloaded. If this happens, right click the download and select keep. Once the zip file has been downloaded, we need to extract the files from the zip folder. To do this we can either right click the zip folder, and select extract all. Alternatively, we can open the zip folder and drag the regular folder out of the zip folder. This will extract all the files. Once the files have been extracted, the macro should be ready to be used. Make sure to keep all of the files within the same folder, or it will not run correctly. Before we actually run the macro, there are a few things we need to check in order to make sure it runs smoothly. First go to your Windows display settings. Make sure that you are using a supported resolution. Next make sure that your display scale is set to 100%. If these settings are not correct, the image searching will fail and the macro will not run as intended. Next, open the Calibration tab of the Macro Graphical User Interface. Select your Windows Resolution and your Roblox Graphics settings. Now you can select any options you would like the macro to do. You can select one or more gathering fields. If you select more than one field, the macro will rotate between these fields for each gathering cycle. You can do the same for planter fields. Select as many fields as you want and choose which key your planter is located on. After that, you can press play or press F1 and the macro will begin. If after starting the macro, it only rotates your camera, it may be having trouble locating your hive. You can open the calibration tab, and increase the hive image similarity number. If the macro positions your camera incorrectly, it is matching the hive image at the wrong angle. You can decrease the hive image similarity number. Keep in mind that my macro is a work in progress. It will be changed many more times before it is finished, and the final version is released. There may be bugs released in the process. If you encounter a bug or have a suggestion for the macro's development, please send a message in a macro help channel on Discord so I can make changes to the file. Thank you for watching this setup video and I hope you enjoy my macro.